Hereford train station. Just got off the train. Now we're going to try and find a bus or a taxi to take us to the hotel. We've arrived in the Galway Moon Inn. We're going down for what are we having? Burgers. Yeah. Having burgers and plenty of beer. I'm having a Hereford Pale Ale, and wife is having Apple County Cider. This is a small business, I think. I think, but I think this Hereford Pale Ale is slightly larger business. It's damn good. Though. I'm trying a butty back. It's very, very good. This is the room we're in. Little tiny room. I feel like a D and D character. This is such a lovely room in such a small inn. It's fantastic. I'll show you the mirror. There. Hello. I've got my vape. <laughs> we're on a walk to find the Knights Templar Church, the St. Michael's Church in Galway. We've got a 15 minute walk along these country roads. I've got to get out of the way because there's a car coming. We've arrived at St. Michael's Church. This is a, this is a Templar church, famously. It, literally the, the entire village seems to be themed around uh, the Knights Templar in this church, which is fair enough because it's a lovely church and the Knights Templar are very interesting. But it was uh, first built in the 6th century made of wood and then sometime in the in the Middle Ages they rebuilt it. Uh, this big old stone square church. This is the St. Michael's Church inside. We didn't know whether it would be open or closed today. Thankfully it was uh, open as churches usually are. Yeah. Thank goodness for trusting people. We're going to give a couple of donations and uh, pick up a couple of postcards. I wanted to show you this horned green man figure here, famous in this church. Are these um, sort of pillars here with all this lovely decoration on? Oh, night sky there. beautiful wooden beams there as well this is all really really nice I mean I like I like churches but this is a this is fantastic wish I could show you the the bell room, the, the bell tower, the room below that, that would be nice. You can look up pictures of that online. But there you go. Well, at least I can get my card out now. So we bought some postcards at the church. We did a few donations and picked up a few postcards. And we come to we come to write them, we come to, at this community centre here, we come to write them and send them off because there's a post office here. Um, and it, the post office is one guy called Richard on a computer. <laughs> And he's got a little post office bag and a little post office computer and a special little keyboard and that's it. <laughs> and he's just sat in the community centre. And it's not working. It's not working. It closes it's, at 11 It closes at 11. <laughs> it is now 10 o'clock and we've got to wait here while, <laughs> while his 3G connection <laughs> uplinks him to the post office. <laughs> so yeah, we're going we're gonna to wait and see. See if he... <laughs> see if his computer does work. It should get through. It should be alright. It'll be alright. Eventual. And then we're going on a going on a uh, a longer walk, and then going forward. Thing. That'd be fun. So we've just tested, and it takes how long? Forty minutes to get to the f the forge from from the hotel. It takes about forty minutes. So we're going to set off at two o'clock because the the appointment time is at three. That's that's the time we're supposed to turn up. So we'll turn up about 20, 20 minutes, fifteen minutes early. We're really thirsty. It started to rain on the way back, so we put our raincoats on and then just got really sweaty because it's still hot, even though it's even though it's raining. So, yay! Yeah. No, it's got sunny again. It's got sunny again. Yeah. 
There's still there's loads of dark clouds in the sky, so we'll see. We was just walking along when by the side of the road I found some wild strawberries. And me and Jenny had one. How was your first wild strawberry, Jenny? It was really good. It was really good. I love wild strawberries. We left the rest to grow, of course. And we only had a couple. So, oh, I think we're about halfway to the forge now. Uh, it doesn't feel like hill. it. So just, over this, of it. just over this hill. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's been it's been raining and it's still like 20 degrees so the humidity is way up so we're absolutely we're not tired from walking <laughs> i can walk 15 miles in a day no problem sorry it's probably the wind i can walk 15 miles in a day no problem it's the it's the heat isn't it yeah it's, it's horrible just the worst with the rain the humidity and the heat all together it's just it sucks. So, but we'll get there. So, uh, day whatever, and we're going to Wales today. We're going to walk to Skinfrith Castle, and maybe another castle, um, and some churches. So it's a plan for the day. A few hours out, and then we'll be back. Eat a meal, watch the football. Be good fun. We are walking to. Oh, Wales. Uh, yes, <laughs> Wales. Let's, let's kind of try and remember. Skinfrith, Skinfrith Castle. We're walking to Wales, though. That's the, that's the main, main thing. And I just look at this beautiful ancient forest here. Lovely bit of forest. And then over Jenny's head, just some fields. That's all, that's all we've got to see for the next half an hour, and it's wonderful. It's just, I love this place so much. What do you think of it, Jenny? We're walking into Monmouthshire. Does that say Monmouthshire? Monmouth. It doesn't say like Wanmouthshire or something. I've got it completely wrong. That is the, the alcohol that I was having in the snack. Water piss. No, the bottle. Oh, the, yes, that lovely yeah. cider you had. Yes. Here we go. Monmouthshire. Shire. <laughs> So to say it in the Welsh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> say it like that. And eaten alive by horsefly. We're in Wales! Yay! We just walked into Wales. How many times can you say you've done that, Jenny? I say walked into Wales before. We've arrived at Skin Skinfrith Castle. Uh, this is just the the sort of battlement bit. Out here is the rest of it. This is the just the real fun bit here. This huge area. This is all castle. And uh, it would have been a couple stories down more as well. Because they filled the bottom in with gravel apparently to stop the flooding problem. So yeah. We're on our way back from the castle now. I found a stick for walking and we're taking a different route from what we came in from. We just found a different road and it is unused completely unused there's no there's no cars and it is it's it's fallen apart so it's obviously just very very underused so we're just walking along that now slowly make our way back have some lunch maybe a pint with lunch that'd be nice and then uh, wait until tea time no, we need to go to the church. Oh, we need to go to the church again. <laughs> We've got to go to the church again to take pictures. And that, yeah. Then tea time. <laughs> Can you see those tiny berries? What do you think those are? They don't look like strawberries. But that is what they are. Tiny, tiny wild strawberries. Those are look. This one, oh, this one's hidden behind a leaf. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to have ourselves a midday snack. They're all along here. All along. Wow. Do you want this big one? Yeah, come on. Is that unusual? They look more like raspberries, don't they? Yeah. Wild eating, Jenny. 
That is what it tastes like. Mm. Let the rye fish through strawberries. Yes. You ever get to, like. If you ever get a chance to have wild strawberries, yeah. careful the ones you pick, because some of them are like nasty and squishy, but most of them. Mm. It's like all it's like all the flavour of strawberry in a little little bite. Mm. Now ten minutes away from Garway and a delicious pub lunch. If you can I don't know if you can hear, you probably can't, but there's some buzzards shouting at each other. Um, we've just seen a fox, haven't we? We have. Just seen a fox crossing the road. Which Jenny spotted and I just quickly saw the rear end of it running off. That's very interesting. So much wildlife around here. We've seen scores of ravens, haven't we? Yeah. And we saw some cows. It's made me question my want for steak tonight because they were so adorable. So. Oh, we've been walking for hours. <laughs> Last day, we are going to get a taxi. Get a taxi to Hereford, see the map of Monday and then get a train back to Manchester. Uh, train's at <laughs> 1 o'clock and it's 9.30 now, so we've got a long way to wait. It takes about half an hour to get into Hereford from here, so... Plenty of time. There's a big seagull over there, he's clocked my sandwich. And he wants it. <laughs> I swear to God if that seagull attacks us, because you have to clock the sandwich. Not be <laughs> We're on the train back now. Uh, I've got nowhere to sit, nowhere to put my luggage, so I'm just stood in the hallway, having to move out of the way of people every five seconds. And I'm right near the toilet, so everyone's everyone's passing me. But I'm gonna find a seat soon. And read a book. We're in the noisiest part of the train. The connection between the carriages. We're just about to pull into Manchester Piccadilly and then and then we'll we'll be going home.